Hey assholes, it's me again, Larry Andrews. You know what? For once, I'm not talking to you, President Shitbag, and I'm not talking to you, Mr. Vice President Powerbottom. I'm not. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Right now, I want to talk to this asshole, Dr. Shiva Ayatare. That's who I'm talking to. Hey asshole, how you doing? Okay, so I, I I just stumbled upon your your um, your video tome today, and I gotta ask you, what the fuck are you talking about, buddy? Seriously, a you're not a doctor, you're a PhD. So yes, we can you have a doctorate, but you're a PhD. You're not a medical doctor, and on your own Wikipedia page. You, you list yourself as a scientist, I think inventor, and entrepreneur. Okay, I see no medical, <clears throat> I see no medical things there at all. No, no medical credentials whatsoever. I also see that your claim to fame was you were married to, of all people, Fran Drescher. How'd that go? And supposedly, you invented email back in high school. <sighs> now, asshole, I, I don't see any medical anything in any of that. But you seem to think that you can get on the, you can get on your thing, call yourself doctor, and you're pushing this whole hashtag fire Fauci thing. I had to write it down. I mean, I watched this video. It's like an hour long. So you're talking fear-mongering. The, the government is fear-mongering to suppress dissent, to support mandated medicine, and to support crashing the economy. And the bottom line, underlying flaw of all this is fake science. I, I don't even know where to start. But, okay, suppress dissent? There's a lot of people dissenting about a lot of different things. Okay, the problem is the people that are dissenting don't really know what they're talking about. Or they're trying to push their own political agenda, sir, asshole, doctor. That's number one. Number two, mandated medicine. Oh, pushing that mandated medicine. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to, but if you're referring to things like vaccinations or you're referring to things like, I don't know, Cure to certain things. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, penicillin is mandated medicine. It's like you have to get penicillin shots if you're a kid. Or you have to get the measles injection if you're a kid. You have to get certain things in order to remain healthy so that you don't make other people sick. There was this thing that happened called polio. That was a mandated thing, too. A very good doctor, an actual doctor, came up with a thing to stop this disease that was putting people in iron lungs. Now, I don't know. I wasn't alive at the time. But I'm guessing if you were alive at the time, what, would you have sided with the iron lung manufacturers? Because, oh, no, this is, gonna, this is science. This is, this is fake. This is going to put all the iron lung manufacturers out of business. We can't have that. Oh, money. Uh, people working, oh no, no, they got the damn shots, polio went away, so did iron lungs, what's the bigger trade-off there, buddy, also, you're, you're saying Fauci uh, is causing fear, is pushing fear, because Somehow he's the face of the Clinton Foundation, or he's the face of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, or he's somehow the face of the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, or perhaps he's the face of the CDC. He's the face of the World Health Organization. Oh my God, this guy, he's the face of all these big bad name things. Oh no, no, we can't listen to him. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. What? what? Hey, asshole. He's not the face of anything. He was a former head of a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry, I don't have it written down right here. But 
The CDC, Center for Disease Control, and the WHO, World Health Organization, those are the big things right now. Those are the organizations that are trying to keep you healthy, asshole doctor. But, okay, you don't want to be involved with that. You don't think anybody should, you know, stay home. You don't think people should, you know, social distance. You don't, you don't think any of that because, no, that's infringing. That's causing fear. That's fear-mongering. No, just take your vitamin C and, pre you know, up your immune system and everything will be fine. It doesn't work that way, asshole. If I am running around with no, no, um, no masks, no gloves, and I'm like right on top of people, and I'm hugging them, I'm kissing them, and I'm, you know, sure, I'm mega dosing vitamin C, my immune system's great. Hey, I'm good, but I can be passing it on to other people. I'm asymptomatic, passing it on to other people, making other people sick. So what are you saying, buddy? Don't do these things because you're afraid that Fauci is somehow the face of the Chan Zuckerberg. Okay, I went on Google and I looked all this stuff up. Zuckerberg interviewed Fauci to go, hey, what do you think we should do about this thing? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation interviewed Fauci going, hey, what should we do about this thing? The Clinton Foundation He's never been a member of the Clinton Foundation. He advised Clinton on what to do with AIDS. Remember that? Remember that? You know, that, that president at that time? Oh, it's a gay disease. We don't give a shit. They're going to die. Fuck them. Remember that? So, asshole. Dr. Shiva. Shut up! You're not a medical doctor. You have no medical degrees. You have no medical expertise. I'm not listening to you, and your damn followers shouldn't be either, asshole.